Welcome. So what I have is sine of x plus cosine of x squared. And what I want to do is uh, show you how to simplify this by using multiplication. So remember, whenever we have a binomial squared, what that's going to represent is this could kind of be the same thing as x plus y squared. And by knowing, by understanding the multiplication of perfect squares, or what a perfect square is going to be, if we were to multiply this out, one thing we know that that's going to be x plus y times x plus y. So you could use a multiplication, you know, FOIL technique to solve for this. But we also know by um, perfect squares, we're going to have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So therefore, I can kind of very easily write out this answer as going to be sine squared of x plus 2 cosine of x sine of x plus cosine squared of x. And that just helps me understanding what a perfect square and how do you multiply one just helps me to solve this without having to do all that factoring practice. So now what I want to do is see um, how can I rewrite these. And I want to see can I rewrite them in terms of sine or in terms of cosine. So I look at my Pythagorean identity, which says sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Therefore, I could say the cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x. So what I can do is I can either, you know, I'm, I solve for cosine because I want to rewrite my cosine in terms of sine. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to see, can I help simplify this problem by rewriting it where I might be able to eliminate a sine or a cosine. So that's going to be 1 minus sine squared of x. And what you notice is now I'm going to have a positive sine of x minus the sine of x, which is going to subtract to 0. Therefore, just leave me with the final answer of 1 plus 2 cosine of x times sine of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a quick, um, easy little review on how to multiply and simplify a trigonometric expression. Thanks.